And no fewer than 250 vulnerable rural women have benefited from the 120 million grants doled out by a group, SOS Children's Village in Nigeria, as part of the intervention to scale up their income generating ventures towards cushioning the effect of the current economic challenges in the country. The beneficiary is drawn from across five communities in Ogun East local government area, consisted of members of different 12 village savings and loan associations. Speaking with journalists after the symbolic presentation of checks to beneficiaries, National Director of the SOS Children's Village, Ehosa Ehosa, said the principal focus of the intervention was to foster economic self-dependence on each of the beneficiaries. Ogun State Commissioner for Women Affairs, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry, Adejumo Adewale, said the intervention aligned with the state government's initiative on women empowerment. The abilities of families to care for their children has been negatively impacted by the current uh, economic downturn that we are witnessing in our country. And um, children being the most vulnerable, you know, tend to suffer a lot. So it is out of this that our organization SOS Children's Villages has um, under our family strengthening program, working with communities and the state government to see how we can empower the most vulnerable families so that they can in turn take care of their children like you know the government cannot do it alone as much as government is doing its best its best uh, other stakeholders like our organization believe that we can chip in our bit to see that um, we also contribute to the development of the communities particularly as it affects vulnerable uh, children and their families this is something we will encourage other stakeholders to to go into the partnering with the state government for us to be able you know to take care of the vulnerable children and the families within Ogun State. It's a very valuable program and we appreciate it. Um, there's an MOU that has been um, signed between the communities and the organizations and the SOS and the state government will be ready to be part of the monitoring system to ensure that the beneficiaries of the grant make good use of the grant that has been given to them. And we are ready to give all that is within our capability to ensure that the program is a success. Now, some of the beneficiaries commended the donor for the initiative. They said they will make use of the grant judiciously. Huge amount of money that has been given to us by SOS Children Village is going to uh, eradicate poverty in our community. Ikija here is going to eradicate poverty in Ogo State and Nigeria at large. It's going to assist us as women to cater for our children and to assist the less privileged in our environment. We feel grateful for the opportunity given to us by the VSL. And finally, we we'll really, really, we'll really appreciate their efforts towards the um, opportunity they give to us. Well, the 10 million um, loan that we have just received is not meant for me, it's not meant for you. It's a joint business. So we have to use it accordingly. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.